Hi, I'm Jules Behrens with UN OCHS Center for Humanitarian Data. Welcome to our third training video for Hexel, the humanitarian exchange language. In order to provide effective assistance, we need to know a few pieces of essential information, including the location of people in need, the locations where humanitarian organizations are operating, and the location of critical infrastructure like schools and health facilities. While data about locations is essential, compiling it can be challenging. Adding Hexel hashtags to humanitarian datasets simplifies the process of bringing different datasets about a location together. There are a few different types of geographic and location information that are commonly found in humanitarian datasets. In this short video, we will explore how we can use Hexel hashtags and attributes to describe each of them. One common type of location information is administrative divisions. There are a handful of Hexel hashtags and attributes used to describe this type of data. For a data column with the name of the country, you would use the country hashtag and name attribute to describe it. You can add a language attribute if you want to be specific about the language used. In our example, South Sudan is written in English, so we could add the attribute I underscore EN, the English language attribute. For administrative divisions below the country level, we use the hashtags ADM1, ADM2, ADM3, and so on. If we have data for the name of the administrative division and its P code, a geocoding system commonly used in humanitarian emergencies, we distinguish between the two using the name and code attributes. In our example here, we would use hashtag ADM1 plus name for the name of the state and hashtag ADM1 plus code for the state's P code. The same goes for the county's name and P code, hashtag ADM2 plus name and hashtag ADM2 plus code. In addition to administrative division data, humanitarian spreadsheets often have geographic coordinates for specific locations. For this type of geographic data, we use the hashtag geo and the attributes lat and long for latitude and longitude. In our example here, we would use hashtag geo plus lat for the first column and hashtag geo plus long for the second. Finally, for general locations, the Hexel standard includes hashtag loc. This can be used for any point location, such as a village, camp, or clinic. In our example, we would use hashtag LOC plus name for the name of the displacement site. Geospatial and location data is some of the most important data that we have in responding to humanitarian emergencies. By adding these simple tags before sharing your data, you make it easier to bring data about a location together. Let's quickly summarize the core hashtags used to describe locations. To describe administrative boundaries, we use the hashtags country, ADM1, ADM2, and so on, with attributes like plus name or plus code. For geographic coordinates, we use the hashtag geo and the attributes lawn and lat. And finally, there is the hashtag LOC for general locations that you can further refine with attributes like plus name and plus code. Thank you for joining us for the third in our series of training videos on Hexel. In our next video, we will go through some of the core Hexel hashtags and attributes used to describe humanitarian caseload data.